in this next problem, we're going to look at the following. Uh, we'd like to evaluate the limit as w goes to negative k of w squared plus 5kw plus 4k squared divided by w squared plus kw. Now, something that I've often found is that uh, students of mine in calculus classes, they hate this type of a problem because there aren't enough numbers in the problem. And what I would really encourage you is, as you're looking at a problem like this, try to forget about the fact that there are so many letters floating around and just treat it as you would any other problem. We know what we need to do here. First thing I need to do is I need to look at, well, what if I plugged in negative k for w? If I plugged in negative k for w, is everything okay on the bottom or do we get division by zero? That's the first thing we need to look at. So if I plugged in negative k, I'd get negative k squared, which is k squared, and then I'd get k times minus k, which is minus k squared. So I'd get a k squared minus a k squared, which is zero. So I would get division by zero, so this is not a situation where I can just plug this number in for w. All right, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm gonna to have to factor this in some way, so I need to factor the top. Now, what I see is if the top is going to factor, let's rewrite, this is the limit is w goes to negative k. And right off the bat, what we see is if this thing's going to factor, then it's going to have two factors. The first one's going to start with a w and the second one is because they multiply to give me a w squared. So I've got a w and a w. And I know that they multiply to give me 4k squared. And so what I could try here, uh, and I know that the two uh, numbers that are going to go here are going to be the same because this is positive, and what they're going to be the same as is this number, which is positive. So two positives. They're going to add to 4. Uh, I'm sorry, they're going to multiply to 4, and they're going to add to 5. So two numbers that multiply to 4 and add to 5 are 4 and 1. So we'd have a 4, but we need to add this k in, and we have a k, or a 1k. So let's look at this for a second. w times w is w squared. 4k times w is 4kw, plus a kw is 5kws, and 4k times k is 4k squared. So everything's great. And on the bottom, we have w squared plus kw. But notice that both of those terms have a common factor of w, so I could factor out a w. So I get w times w plus k. And now we see that this is actually quite wonderful, because on top and bottom, I have a factor of w plus k, Let's cancel the w plus k's, and what I'm left with is, this is equal to the limit as w goes to negative k of w plus 4k divided by w. Notice uh, that now if I plug in that w goes to negative k, I don't get zero on the bottom anymore. Unless, of course, negative k were 0, which in its own way would be very terrible, but we're not going to really worry about that right now. Uh, so if we plug in negative k here, I don't get 0, I get negative k. And so plugging in negative k's for w's, I get a negative k on top plus 4k. And on the bottom, I get a negative k. I think we could simplify this just a little bit more because on top I could factor out a negative k. If I did, I'd have negative k times, if I factor out a negative k from a negative k, I just have a 1. If I factor out a negative k from a 4k, I get minus 4 divided by negative k. The negative k's cancel, and I'm just left with. 1 minus 4, which is 
negative 3. Now, this is kind of remarkable in some sense that we went through all this work with these w's and these k's, and it doesn't really what matter what w and k are, except if k equals 0, this is kind of a mess. Uh, but as long as k is not 0, uh, the limit that I get, no matter what the values of w and k, I get negative 3.